you. It's hot outside, or at least it usually is during the summer months. As temperatures rise, people who own EVs, or are EV curious, may be wondering, how is owning an EV different than owning an internal combustion engine IC, vehicle when it comes to hot temperatures? In fact, in warm weather, owning an EV is a little different than owning an IC vehicle, but not by much. So, what should be paid attention to when charging new energy vehicles in summer? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Auto Age, now you are on the journey to look back at every change in the car, witness every surge in speed, and explore the mystery behind the car. Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. In this video, we have prepared 5 warm weather charging tips for your cars, let's take a look. In fact, summer heat affects all cars, including IC vehicles. When combustion engines get too hot, parts expand and warp, oil cooks and loses effectiveness, and engines can even seize up. Thankfully, engine cooling systems filled with antifreeze do a good job at keeping engines from getting too hot. Similarly, EVs have cooling systems to keep their batteries from overheating. The thermal management system for the battery is built to both heat and cool the battery to keep it around 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. This is quite a bit different from an engine cooling system which is primarily meant to only cool to a range around 190 to 210 degrees Fahrenheit, a combustion engine also produces a lot more waste heat than a battery. An EV battery performs best within a certain temperature range because its power is generated by a chemical reaction that functions best within that range. When it's hot outside, the thermal management system uses a small amount of power from the battery itself to maintain temperature, and when plugged in, the system pulls a bit of power from the grid to maintain the battery's temperature. All that said, here are a few warm weather tips to help you maximize your EV's range and keep your battery healthy all summer long. 5 Warm Weather Tips for EVs 1. The charging environment is very important. The environment here mainly refers to several aspects. First of all, try to choose a cool and ventilated place for charging. Prolonged exposure to the sun will cause the temperature of the vehicle's power box to rise sharply, which in turn will cause the temperature of the battery to rise and affect the state of charge. Exposure to the sun will also accelerate the aging and damage of the wiring in the car, bringing unpredictable dangers. Therefore, if possible, choose to charge in the indoor parking lot, which will help prolong the battery life. If you don't have access to a garage or shaded parking at home, whenever you're out and about and have the option to park inside a parking structure or out in the hot sun, choose the parking structure. This will allow your battery and the cabin to cool down while parked. You'll use less battery power cooling your car back down when you get back to your car, too. When charging outdoors, you should avoid low-lying parking places, Otherwise you will be in danger of being soaked in water in heavy rain. If a large amount of water is found at the charging site, stop charging immediately and move the vehicle to a safe place. In addition, pay attention to whether there are high-power electrical appliances near the charging site, because high-power electrical appliances are equivalent to a heat source when they are working. If the distance between the car and the electrical appliances is too close during charging, there is a risk of fire. 2. Precondition your EV before getting inside. If it's plugged in, keep it plugged in while you precondition. Preconditioning allows you to preheat or precool the car's cabin before you begin your journey, allowing you to use less of the energy stored in the battery for these functions. Most EVs come with an integrated app that you can use to precondition, by cooling or warming, your EV's cabin before you get inside, but preconditioning may also be activated via the car's media system. 
It's best to precondition your EV while it's still plugged in so that you use energy from the grid to cool the car and your battery down. This gives you more range, along with a comfier car when you get inside. At the same time, for car owners, after using the car in summer, do not charge it immediately. It is best to leave the car for a period of time to allow the power battery to fully dissipate heat before charging to ensure that the temperature during charging is closer to the optimal working temperature. In addition, you should also pay attention to the charging time. Generally speaking, it takes 1 to 2 hours for fast charging and 6 to 8 hours for slow charging. After charging, you should unplug in time. Although the current charging piles have a self-power-off function, in case of overcharging, the damage to the battery is permanent. 3. Ease up on the accelerator and brakes. When it's hot outside, easing up on the accelerator and brakes will use less energy, which will keep your battery cooler. You can also use ECO mode, or chill mode if you're a Tesla driver, which limits the energy expended when driving. 4. Take it easy on the A, C if you need the range. By itself, driving in hot weather will have a minimal impact on your range. Using your A, C on a hot day will have a small impact on your range. In fact, the heater in an EV typically uses more energy than the A, C, opposite that of a gas car. In city driving, you can consider rolling your windows down instead of using the A, C, but on the highway, rolling your windows down usually has a more negative effect, by producing drag, than just using the A, C moderately. 5. Limit your fast charge to an 80% state of charge, SOC, asterisk and charge at night whenever possible. As your charging speed slows down throughout your fast charge, it's usually a better use of your time to unplug after you reach 80% SOC. The energy transfer from the charger to your battery warms up your battery, so if it's an especially hot day, and your battery is already warm, your EV may limit charging speeds to keep the battery cooler and healthier. At 80% SOC, you're probably better off switching to an L2 charger if you need to top off. Charging at night when it's cooler out will be even better for your battery, and you'll be conserving energy on the grid if your utility company experiences demand constraints during the day. If you have overnight charging available for your EV, it's good to leave it plugged in with the SOC limit set to roughly 50%. For some vehicles, it's also a good idea to have a small trickle charger, also known as a battery tender, on the 12V battery. As EV adoption grows, many new EV owners might notice that charging and maintaining your EV is similar to charging and maintaining your smartphone. If you're using your phone on a hot day and have a lot of apps running, it's often a good idea to close a few apps to let your phone cool down. Your EV is similar. Thankfully, your EV's BMS and thermal management system do an excellent job keeping your battery cool and healthy. At last, when the next heat wave comes, we hope these tips help you and your EV brave the higher temperatures. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.